everybody. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be, to be here, uh, having the honor to uh, talk to you after Professor Barca. I, I, I was uh, happy to know you, I think, a couple of months ago. And the first thing I, I, I told you, let me make this public, was, oh, uh, Mr. Barca, Professor Barca, I thought you were a report. And actually, you are a human being. <laughs> You are a human being, not a report. So it's, it's good to know that these, these great reports are, are written by human beings, not by, not by robots. So uh, I will, if we can move, uh, I, I, I have the, yes. I move uh, right away the. Which? This one to the right. So um, I have just two ideas to share with you in relation to key long-term trends and challenges and potential scenarios, just two ideas. And then I, I, will, uh, I will ask my colleague uh, Jacek to, to do the most difficult job to see how these uh, two ideas somehow can influence and can be related to the, to the ongoing discussions on cohesion policies in order to see what key principles of future policies to promote territorial cohesion in Europe matter today. Following in a way the previous uh, presentation and, and discussions with uh, Professor Barca. So the only idea I have to share with you in relation to key long terms is the idea of new territorialities. So as a working hypothesis, I propose you to think that in the, in the future, uh, technological change, like it or not, is happening and it's, it's gonna change the territory, you know, in terms of marginal change or small changes here and there. It's creating new territories, which somehow are overlapping the actual ones that we have in mind. So these parts of the space divided by, by borders under control of a given government, municipalities, regions, member states, European Union, and so on. So as a working hypothesis, let's consider that accelerated technological evolution that is happening like it or not, some often beyond our control, is driving the economy to be decarbonized and dematerialized, is, is driving the trade in European economies to become global, so the globe, the whole world is becoming more important than the single market. Growth and disparities will happen at all scales. So the idea of economic convergence in Europe in terms of GDP per capita is over. Maybe it will not happen. Probably will not happen in this at measure in GDP per capita at least. Aging and more diversified migrations uh, are happening and technology is, is helping this to happen more accelerated. And this will have important territorial impacts Maybe we will see enclaves in Europe, so places for retired people, uh, ethnic neighborhoods, gated communities in the future that we don't have in Europe as much as in the rest of the world, and ephemeral communities by project. So we are, we are having a number of different, uh, different trends that all of them are, are, are in a way pushed by by technology and all together are creating new territorialities. Let's say uh, all network industries uh, are becoming a territoriality in itself, and in themselves. So electric networks, telecommunications, all of these are, are industries that, that, that go beyond the borders of, of territories as we know them. And all of them seem to require a particular governance but also the communities that we are attached. So uh, we, we saw the video by, uh, in Bulgaria. Bulgaria is, as Ilona said, is a, is a beautiful case. The video is a people attached to a place, to a language, to a memory, to a culture. So this is a kind of community. This is a, a, a nice sample of territory. And, and what we are arguing here is that other territorialities will happen at the same time overlapping this one and maybe in the future will matter even more that the territory as we used to, to know it. Just some seeds of things which you know were already happening, 
Uh, so you see the electric uh, network is, is and, and the, the electricity and energy is changing the idea of, of concentrated production or distributed production. So if you are a consumer or a producer, is something which is nowadays is not so clear. The same we are driving, driving in, in, we will drive in self-driving cars. So the car, the vehicle will become maybe a place, not just uh, a moment you are losing. You can do things where you are traveling. So the idea of travel is changing, uh, staying or moving is a category that may will not work in the future as it was to work in the past. You see Airbnb changing in a few years the idea of private house and, and, and hotel, which is a house, which is a hotel, is not obvious anymore. And, well, I don't want to talk about ne neuronal implants and electronic uh, automatic translation and so on, but this is happening. A Bitcoin and blockchain are important technologies because it, it gives us the impression that technology is moving us towards more network, networked territorialities or reinforcing place-based territorialities also. So we are going to have, we already have a Google satellite watching all of us, knowing what we are doing and what plans we have for next summertime. But also blockchain may, 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 may you know, if you, you know this technology is an alternative way of collecting information from things that are changing information among themselves. So we can get information not from the eye of Google watching us, kind of big brother, big brother, but also from, let's say, little sisters. So all of us are changing information uh, bottom up. So technology will move one way or the other or both together. New territorialities place-based or new territorialities to that uh, virtual, outside reality. And this is, the Bitcoin is showing that this is a huge challenge for the existing territorialities. Because if we are unable in Europe to get an agreement on in, in fiscal policies, at the same time, Bitcoin is happening. Just close this with an anecdote. My youngest, 16 years old, just decided to invest all the money he had working uh, as a waitress at summertime on a mon uh, not Bitcoin, a kind of crazy currency. You know, my wife was really <laughs> unhappy, myself, and even more, we were even, you know, it was worse because he made a lot of money together with his friends. So he decided to buy a huge second, how second, home, second hand motorbike, a beta huge which is gross polluter, which is noisy, which is very beautiful, and he used this to drive in the natural park around our countryside. <laughs> so, so Bitcoin is not a dream, it's not magic, it's something, it's a motorbike I have there on the garage. <laughs> and these are the existing territorialities. Surprising, it's not just a matter of government, it's a matter of our feelings. So these are political elections in the UK, in relation to the Brexit, in Spain, in Italy, in Poland. Amazingly, geography explains still the values of people. So in Italy, north and south, in geographic terms, still are meaningful. In, in Poland, east and west, and in Spain, you see, and in UK also. So is, is the territorialities we live are real, it's not just a, a political, uh, political, uh, let's say, framework is also our mental framework, our values. The idea is that these existing territorialities are overlap will be overlapping to new territorialities. And of course, and this is the second and last idea, uh, fragmentation of these existing territorialities is a major or maybe is the, the most important problem uh, to, to, to make sure that the well-being in Europe will keep improving in the future because it's creating all kind of costs. So this uh, cross-border cooperation program, cooperation between different existing territories among themselves and together with other new territorialities is maybe the, the most difficult challenge we have ahead. Uh, in terms of the scenarios, is, I'm closing. Because everything will change as a working hypothesis, let's define the scenarios based on what we expect that will not change. And the urbanization of Europe 
will likely not change, so we don't expect uh, a megalopolis of, of 25 million people in the middle of Europe in the future. On the other hand, the size of the European cities and territories, uh, we can believe that will remain small in the, at, at, you know, at global level, and this is not a problem. It, this is the, the, the size of European cities, the structure of European cities, and this, this remains as, as it is nowadays. And also remains the idea of Europe of polycentricity, which is shared by most existing territories. And, and therefore, what we are thinking on our territories, on our scenarios, is how these territories will work in the future. And here we are dealing with this different type of spatial patterns and how network economies and agglomeration economies will, will, will work and how a specialization and a scope economies will work. And this, this, this way of, of making to work existing territories in line with the expected technological change is going to be part of our discussions. And this is uh, everything I, I wanted to share with you.